Okay, just like my last video with my 10 inch SCT telescope, we're going to go to a nice secluded spot in the middle of nowhere, and I'm going to be running a Orion Apex. And we're going to get some shots of the moon in that. Okay, this is the area that I'm going to be setting up. And I have my equipment in my ATV or my side by side. As far as light pollution, I don't have any. And we're going to get set up and wait till dark. Now, right here is my Sony A7S. And what I'm going to do is run a telescope even on this Davis and Sanford uh, FM. Pro Vista 18 tripod and it's running a FM 18 fluid and I'm gonna have my dark night lens hooked up to it which is a 0.95 f-stop this is what I run for film and low light now what's cool about this setup is I got two tripod holders I can take this complete unit off and set it to the side take my Orion Apex which is very handheld. You literally can use this as a, my focus ain't that good, I know, as a scope or a lens, zoom lens for your, your my camera. And I'm gonna mount that onto my Davis and Sanford and I got a very, very rock solid mount for it. Okay, if you follow any of my videos, you know this Sony A7S and Dark Knight lens are wicked in low light. I got everything turned way down. This is what I can see with my eyes. We're going to crank it up. There's 102,000 ISO. And that's what the Sony sees. Out in the middle of nowhere. Trying to make sure there's no wolves or anything like that watching me. I just heard a deer breathe, or a wheeze. Somewhere over there. All right, there's the setup. Give you a little bit steadier shot. Got the A7S hooked directly to the Orion Apex. And right here is the moon in prime, almost the full moon, not quite. Pretty good shot of it, huh? It's pretty neat. Tell you what, we're going to zoom in here and see how this thing is pan around a little bit then I'm gonna try to find the Andromeda but I don't think I will because we got clouds north of us a lot of them coming in so pretty awesome Okay, you're looking at the moon with a 9 millimeter eyepiece in right now. No crop mode. It's looking pretty decent. Not a heck of a lot of atmosphere interference, interference right now, so that's a plus. But look at that thing. Oh, that's cool. Let's try panning around a little bit. That is pretty neat. It's amazing when you don't have a lot of atmospheric uh, interference. Pretty, I'll be surprised what Jupiter's going to look like. 
will do us one more path pass and then that's enough turn my ISO down a little Pretty nice. Again, that's nine millimeter eyepiece in. Wow. You can almost reach out and touch the moon. Is that impressive or what? Helps being out in the middle of nowhere with no ambient light anywhere. Let's find Jupiter. Right there is Jupiter and Saturn just coming up over the horizon. We're going to show you a couple shots of them tonight. Turn my ISO back up. Wow, here's Jupiter. Ideal conditions, even with this little Orion apex. Look at that. I could stack a lot of these frames off this video and make a tight picture, but why? We're going to let it buzz through the screen, and then we're going to go into crop mode. But that's with the 9mm lens on. Is that not cool or what? I don't know what uh, mode I'm in either, but we'll try that out first, actually, before we go into crop mode. Okay, I'm now in Vivid. It's looking pretty good on my uh, camera. We'll see what it looks like on a computer, but I'm a little bit impressed. I'm looking at a little 5-inch Orion scope. That's ideal conditions. And that's with crop mode on of Jupiter. Is that a moon in front of it? That would be so... No, it isn't. Right there is a spot of dirt, but I think I got a moon in front of that thing. If it is, that is downright cool. I'm pretty sure that is a moon. Try that again. Yeah, that's definitely a moon sitting in front of it. So cool. Nine millimeter lens. About as good as you're going to get. Now I'm happy I came up here tonight. I've had enough footage to last me. I can't wait to see what my 12 inch scope's going to bring. I got that 12 inch Dobson coming. And we're going to compare it. That is just awesome. I'm going to try to focus it a little more, but before we do that, let's hit uh, Saturn. Okay, if I got it lined up right, you're going to see Saturn coming across here in a second. Where you at? We are going to go into crop mode here, and then I might try to see if I can't focus it any better. There's crop mode on. I can't tell from the camera if we can see any features with the rings or different coloration. But uh, next pass, I'm going to try to zoom in a little and see if I can focus this thing. Yeah, I do believe that's going to be good enough. I can almost see some rings on Saturn. That is wickedly good. The only other thing I can try is to turn it off vivid or something. We'll see if that makes a difference. 
Okay, I am definitely seeing rings on Saturn, on uh, the rings. I am seeing features and coloration, so we're going to zoom in digitally and see if we can't see it as well. Well, there's no way I'm going to take a picture of this. I could try, but we'll see what happens. I doubt it. I ain't going to do it. We're going back to Jupiter here just to make sure. I got a decent clip of it. Sure looks like that moon has moved, doesn't it? After about 10 minutes, it's right in the front now. Man, that's cool. That's like real, real awesome. Crop mode. Only real reason why I go into crop mode is because of me being able to see uh, more features on my little screen. You know, it looks like there's actually two moons there. in front of it that is so cool my gosh I love this scope I'm gonna get a go-to mount for just the scope look at that my gosh I brighten the ISO up just in case. Got it snapped off a couple pictures there. You can see the other moons following it. Yeah, them definitely moons in front too. One way in the front ahead of it, then some right in line with it, and then one behind it. 